Hello everyone. So around three years ago, or in fact more than three years ago, <laughs> I made a video on Surge, Surge.sh and uh, using this uh, Surge.sh you can actually deploy a static site really very easily. And, in fact, uh, I made this video in 2018, so a really long time back. Now using Surge you can actually uh, deploy a static site uh, very easily from your terminal and uh, I never really used it for uh, anything else honestly I made a video and uh, because I did try search around uh, three four years ago I believe when I was playing with the uh, static site generators I have tried uh, uh, Hugo and I have also tried uh, Grav which is not really static site generator but it, it is more or less uh, a flat file based CMS but surge is also interesting and I thought today because it has been a while I'll probably do a re revisit so what we'll do we'll probably try to deploy a site from uh, my local to surge and let us see how, let us see how it works so what I'll do I'll probably maybe open uh, let us create a site first I mean on local it will be a simple style site and uh, I'll probably name it as uh, maybe as Ravi Sagar why not and uh, what I'll do I'll probably copy something to <laughs> this particular uh, directory so I'll go to my uh, static site one of my static site which is this one and uh, I'll probably copy maybe index.html and uh, that is it or maybe I'll just copy index.html and uh, okay uh, let us just copy index.html let us keep it simple and uh, what else uh, let us copy it maybe I want to copy let us first open it <laughs> so this is my site and uh, what I'll try to do I'll try to of course uh, see this site first on uh, search with the uh, maybe basic uh, HTML there is nothing happening here just simple HTML and uh, that is it I do have few things like uh, maybe this button on top which I believe I'm using uh, using uh, the because I do have I mean, the proper version is this one uh, no no not ravisagar.in ravisagar.com so this is the site the whole site where I have the logo on top and I also have uh, few other things that are basically making this site look slightly better uh, like a, a bit of CSS so why, why why don't we copy this uh, other or maybe few other things maybe I'll just copy everything okay let us copy everything and uh, let us go inside this directory and uh, maybe I'll just remove package dot JSON and uh, package hyphen lock dot JSON so if I refresh this okay now this is of course looking like the one now uh, what I want to do is I want to of course now deploy it now if you have a static site maybe you want to share something with your friend or uh, maybe you're just, you're just playing if you're like me if you like playing with computers in general I think uh, you will like it so what you can do is you can actually uh, install surge first so I do have a npm installed so it should work let us do this and uh, it will take hopefully couple of seconds I hope not really lot okay so we have a problem <laughs> and uh, let us take a look at this and uh, what we need to do we need to ins we need to update uh, npm come on I don't really want to update do I need to um, I'll, I'll sudo come on it's okay at least we are doing it and uh, Do I need to do sudo? Uh, I, I don't really know, but I guess it won't really uh, make any difference. Uh, so it says to address all issues, run uh, npm audit fix. Okay. Let us. But I just ran this. I'm still trying to understand uh, Node.js completely, although I have been learning it for a while. Okay. 
so there is certainly a problem and uh, okay permission issues do i need to run the, the audit thing for sure okay let us run audit as well maybe i don't need to maybe it is working uh, maybe it is fine so let us let us uh, copy this and uh, so npm install global surge i hope it works let me do sudo <laughs> Okay, it is looking better now. Yep. Okay, let us let us uh, let us see if it works. So let let me try search, and uh, I need to enter my email address and password. Do I have uh, my account on this? So you can actually create an account if you want. Let me enter one of my email address and uh, let us see if this works. Okay, so yeah, I do, I guess, have an account. So I need to, yes, this is the project name. So basically it is asking me to select the directory and domain. Okay, let us try a different domain. Let me try Ravi Sagar dot surge dot let me try this ravi saga dot surge dot uh, sh i know it, i'm sure it will not work you don't do not have permission to <laughs> okay let us try again um domain ravi saga 2022 i hope it works Yes, so it is indeed working. So let us try this. Ravi Sagar hyphen 2022 dot surge dot sh. And uh, if it works, then uh, of course I'll be happy. I am happy now. <laughs> it, 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 it does work. And the good thing is that it has also brought, uh, because I have the I have a little G, like JavaScript file which is basically pulling the feed from my other site, ravisaga.in and it is also displaying the two recent items. So it looks good. If you, I mean, if you, know, if, if you think about it, we have this site, although it's a static site, but it is a simple site with some CSS and JavaScript and we are able to publish it. Now the good thing is, before I look at other things, before I talk about other things because I remember what Surge what all search can do. Let me look at who is there at ravisaga.search.sh. I hope it is my site. Maybe I have a different, yes, this is my site, wow. So I'll probably uh, check the account because I don't know which account is using this. So yes, you can of course you know, use search. Now the, the thing is, this is fine. You are using it, you love it, but you can also use your own custom domain. That is something that I did talk about last time. All you need to do, you need to go to your uh, domain. If you, let us say you have a domain, like I have few domains. In fact, I have more than few domains. <laughs> but if you have a domain, just uh, create a CNAME and uh, point it to, of course, this address. And uh, just take a look at this page. I believe uh, it's not really complicated. I think you just need a CNAME and it should work. What you can also do, I believe uh, with the custom domain, it won't really give you the certificates, but uh, even, without, even without certificate, if you are, I mean, I'm sure they have some pricing model. I believe with, uh, oh, so you, they, they do give you, uh, I think the basics, the basic uh, SSL is probably not with the custom domain because you do get uh, this, this, certificate on the custom not the custom but the subdomain so ravi sagar hyphen 2022.search.sh so there is a certificate indeed which i believe is the basic one if you if you want to use a certificate with your own custom domain i don't really think they will give you 
Okay, securing your custom domain with SSL. So there is a link. Okay, all search projects published to search subdomains automatically include a free basic SSL support. If you're using own custom domain, you can upgrade to search plus. Okay, so basically you need to uh, buy their uh, paid plan. So this is something that you can maybe think of uh, doing. Uh, of course, it is a bit expensive. It is 30 pounds per month. I would rather <laughs> use my own custom uh, VPS and use a Let's, en Let's Encrypt. Using Let's Encrypt uh, is actually very easy. It is cheap. And if you're using third bot, you don't have to worry about renewing it. It will do the renewal automatically for you. So I just did a revisit today after many, many, not many, but I think after like more than three years. And I thought I'll probably share it again. And also I wanted to revisit this because I was actually hoping to use something like this for sharing information with someone very quickly in public domain, of course, without worrying about, without worrying too much about the hosting and everything. And uh, if you look here, I don't really think, do they have anything here which is basically taking care of this? I think you just need to install that NPM module and it will do the magic. So it is not really impacting anything on the actual files that you have within your uh, domain. So that is all. That is all I wanted to, talk, wanted to talk about and share today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye bye.